afternoon YouTube. Uh, this is Jaco from Hunted's RCs. Thank you for watching today. Um, this is my second unboxing. Um, probably my most anticipated box unboxing yet. Um, thanks to um, Nate and uh, Abby from the RC Sailors. They reviewed this uh, Dromeda Vista uh, unit um, about a few weeks ago. I'll link it in the description so you can have a look at the reviews and unboxings. Um, I'm very much looking forward to this. Um, it's also my birthday today, um, so it's my own birthday present, I guess. Um, if you, sorry for that, it's my cat throwing or something off. Um, I ordered this obviously from the United States, from Tower Hobbies. Um, so um, let's start the unboxing. It's most likely going to be a box in a box. So let's see. So it's going to be tight in the shot. Hopefully everything comes in. Seems to be a lot of uh, plastic uh, protection, which is all intact. So which is a good. So it means that the product is probably still still good in intact as well. So let's throw that one side. Let's take this box out. So let me just do that and get rid of this box for a second. There we go. Let's turn it around and see what we've got here. There we go. It's a Dromeda Vista UAV ready to fly version. The box looks Relatively intact, a bit of a nick at the side here. But looking around, if you can look, there's some branding. I chose to the green version uh, for some odd reason. Um, I actually like the green better, um, which is which is always a nice color. But you can see a picture of a red one. There you can see a picture of a green. Sorry, I'm going to try to get the focus there. There we go. And this is the one that I have. Let's see if we can uh, open this up. Don't know exactly where the tabs for this one is. I don't want to break this box. Um, I remember Nate saying this is actually a very nice box to keep uh, for the future if you want to go fly somewhere that you can actually uh, use a box. But let's see if I can manage to get this thing open without damaging it too badly. Just uh, put it like this, if you guys don't mind, it's probably going to open up to my keyboard side. Okay, let's see what we get in the box. Some documentation about a Vista. Um, I'm sure this is probably not going to be a problem with regards to um, the language because it's in English um, and not Chinglish or Chinese English if you wanted to say. Um, there's some some nice uh, breakdown of the parts of the quadcopter. Definitely has a lot of parts. Um, so that is a good thing. Let's quickly open up the open up the uh, manual or pamphlet to see what's in here. It's a nice free page. So I'll read that later. I'm not going to bore you to death with that. Just excuse my cat again here in the corner. Um, she wants to be part of this unboxing. There we go. Sorry for that. There is a uh, vista. It's a bit, bit bright now. I've got some natural light coming from the side, so it's a bit reflecting. So let's take this protective color uh, covers off. So we can have a look and see what we've got here. Very, very nicely packed. I'm very, very happy to see four AA batteries, which always is a plus. There is a strip. Uh, spare props. Uh, the props is already installed on this unit. I'm not sure. I can't remember if that was the case for, for the RC sailors or that was not. But it's definitely uh, on there. So let's see if we can actually get this unit out. Oh wow. This is quite light. I did not expect uh, it being so so light. Um, I expected it to be heavier. But I Definitely like this um, this quadcopter. This is a beautiful um, design. 
I think it looks very alien-like. Um, so it seems like a geared, is it geared props here. It's got some uh, green in front here with a green uh, props in front. It will hopefully help me with regards to the orientation. It's got some green uh, glass uh, bottom, so that will also probably help for, for flying purposes. Here's a battery connector, uh, which I'm not going to put on now. Here's the ins battery is inserted. Let's see if I can get it out. Yeah, it's out. Let's have a look and see if I can focus on the on the battery V. It's a 3.57 volt, 850 milliamp, 25C LiPo battery. So, um, reading and, and, and looking at some of the reviews online, it seems to be uh, on YouTube, it seems to be that it's giving you about uh, 10 to 15 minutes of flight, depending on how rough you are with it, I guess, and how, how much sporty you fly. Um, this quadcopter, it's got a lot of modes. Um, it's got um, four different modes. It's got a beginner, I think it's an immediate and advanced, and then there's another mode I just forgot now. Um, expert, I would think, yeah, the expert mode, which is all uh, controllable by, by, the, by the, 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 the controller here. Let's, um, talking about the controller, let's take that out now. Let's put this to one side. Oh yeah, that it is a meaty, a meaty remote controller. Definitely feels sturdy in your hand. It's definitely very, very nice. Here we go, the back side seems to be a screw to at the back, which I'll open up um, later. I'm not going to do that now. And there's your flight mode switch, and there's your flip switch. You can see here, flight mode, flip switch. This is your throttle. I can, I can see my reflection there as well here in the camera. There's your directional keys, uh, pitch. And there is your switches. So I must all figure out, and I presume this will be your trim switches here. Let's see what we've got more in the box. Yeah, here we have the four props, as which is always a plus, because I'm sure somewhere, someday, someday I will probably crash this, most likely sooner than later. So this is always very handy. Let's see what else we've got here. There we go. Seems to be a little screwdriver. Uh, Phillips head screwdriver, which is obviously going to maybe help for installing um, the props, I presume, or possibly if there's any any guards or something like that. It's another little bag with a few. Let's see if it focuses. Looks like it is. A couple of screws, and here we've got the USB charger. And here we've got the batteries. Actually, I made a mistake earlier. This is actually not double A's. This is actually triple A batteries. So you get four of them for the controller. Let's see if we've got anything else at the bottom of this. I doubt it. No, it's nothing. Let's put that try to put that back in. I'm making a noise, just put that to one side at the moment. Let me have a look, there's some more stuff in the box which I didn't have a look at. Oh, we've got a... Tower Hobbies has sent me a complimentary book. Uh, because this is my first order, I presume that they wel yeah, welcome to Tower Hobbies. So they give me a nice little book which I will read later. This is, thank you very much Tower Hobbies for this. I will have a look at this. I am um, sure I will be able to learn something from this. Now let's bring the quadcopter back again and let's have a nice, nice view at it. Um, that being the back and that being the front, that being at the bottom. I really, really, really like this. It feels very light. Um, it almost feels too light for wind, but uh, seeing the videos online, it's definitely capable of flying in the wind with all the different modes. Definitely a very, very nice little 
little quick coffee. Let's have a look and see what happens if I put on the lights. Um, I can't help myself. Sorry for that. If I can get it, if I can get it in. Hey, go the wrong way. There we go. Hope you can pick that up. Nice and white at the back, which is good. And green in the front. And the top as well, some nice green. I really think this is going to be a nice flyer in the dark uh, for evening flights, night flights. Not that I'm good enough to do it, but I hope with, with this Vista, from the Vista, that I will be able to, to get my skills up um, and uh, get better at it as, um, as a people I'm following on YouTube. So that's my quick unboxing. Um, I really like this uh, design. I really like the look of this. I think it's a mean looking quadcopter. Um, if all is true about um, the performance of this unit, I think this is going to be a good beginner's quadcopter and for intermediates and even for people who are um, very advanced. Um, I will try to see if I can do some flying footage of this. Currently um, I uh, won't be able to because I'm on crutches so it will be difficult for me to stand up and fly. Um, but I will try my, my best and give you some feedback later on. on um, how I find this uh, this device. Thank you very much again for tuning in to, to Hunted's RCs. I appreciate uh, that your time. Um, please feel free to, to, to like and subscribe if you want to see more. Um, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Good afternoon YouTube. Um, it's Yaku from Hunted's RCs. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, this is my second unboxing and probably my um, Unboxing I was looking forward to the most um, uh, since I've ordered this uh, following uh, quadcopter from um, Tower Hobbies in the USA. Uh, thanks to Nate and Abby. Um, sorry for my cat. Uh, she also wants to be part of it. Um, thanks to Nate and Abby from the RC Sailors for um, reviewing this unit a, a month or so ago. Um, it made me um, very interested in this device um, and um, I subsequently ordered it from them. Um, ordering took relatively quick. Um, I've ordered it this unit from the 29th 